bridge and the path to the front of the island only brings back great memories, making your way every morning to what could be an unforgettable day. At Mazeppa, anything can happen. As most drone anglers know already, early morning is always the best potential weather to get a drone up and out, dropping your bait far in the back. The DJI Phantom 4 has proven itself all over the world and one of the best drones for general use. And one thing is certain, you will get a bite if you fly a bait out off the island at Mazeppa Bay. Right guys, we're on the island. We spent the night in the Mazeppa Hotel. I um, had a wonderful dinner last night. And yeah, I woke up early this morning to be greeted by a wonderful sunrise and a pretty good looking sea. It's looking quite promising for a bite. We've just put baits out on the drone. Um, we just put tuna chunks out, so yeah, the currents are strong, the sea's looking decent, it's not too big, not too small. So yeah, hopefully we'll check you guys soon with some fish action. Jeremy also put a slide bait out, and it's always great to vary your options. Try and close in as well as far out. I'm gonna hook a Garrick now now. Going down the slide. Basically what's happened, he's picked it up and um, as I was sliding, and now he's going, moving down the line. So we're going to try not get a burn off. There he goes. Off the island of Mazeppa, it is very deep water. So the fish do come in right up onto the sun. And my words weren't cold, and that was the first bait to be picked up. We're gonna wait until we get pulled flat. I think he dropped it. Dropped it! Your bigger fish comes in at night to feed close in shore. So early, early morning, nothing wrong with casting or sliding a bait. Jeremy quickly changed his bait and cast it out again. And it wasn't long. Yeah, hard. By that bloody rock there. The hammers and trans car can be great fun. Extremely strong fighters. If you hook a 30, 40 kilo hammer, you do know about it. They sometimes move through in shoals and are very fast, ferocious fighters. We're just letting it take the bait a little bit. Feels like it might be a raggy, eating funny. There she goes, she's taking the bait, she's taking the bait. See, let's let her feed a little bit. Just gonna feed her. Until I know she's got the bait, then I'll set the hook. She's feeling a lot like a, a bag. There we go. Now she's waking up, now she's waking up. There we go. Oh, wait. Fishing that far out using a drone, it is important to have maturity braid. The reason for that, it doesn't have stretch. If you have 400 meters monofilament, it sometimes becomes very difficult setting the hook. Looks like I've got a bit of a raggy bite, Jay. It's fine by me, bite is a bite. So yeah, let's see if we can get this bag out. Yeah, she's there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, there she got to pull a little bit. I think it's a big raggy. Is it? Big raggy. Oh, uh, yeah, off <laughs> It's a really heavy fish, whatever this is. 
Woo. Let's see if we can get her out. Now the raggies at Mazeppa, especially off the island, can be very treacherous in landing. It is as if they use the area and know it well enough to use it to their advantage. Sometimes they'll come right in and mess you around in the front. wasn't long and Jeremy went tight as well. This also looked like a raggy. It looks like there's a couple of raggies around. I've got one on here. My buddy's on. Mine's really close to the rocks here, so hopefully, hopefully we can play around these rocks and we can get her out. So yeah, both jumped out pieces of tuna out in the drone earlier. Probably about two hours ago, an hour and a half ago. And yeah, we got two slow bites. So let's see what happens, guys. Looks like we had a bit of a raggy on there. Unfortunately, she took us into the rocks and cut us off. So yeah, we're gonna try to get another bait out quickly uh, before the wind picks up and see if we can't maybe get a proper bite this time. A bit of a faster fish. Right guys, so it looks like we hooked up again, yeah? It's been a bit of a slower day. Um, Oh, that's looking like a proper bite. <laughs> so I'll take a lever drag 60, the 65 pound J braid and 80 pound gated braid backing. Yeah, hold tight, let's see what happens. Hopefully we get this one out. Uh, guys, basically um, had it out there, pulling me nicely and then uh, Pot of dolphins swam into the line, so she parted. Unfortunately, they are a little bit peeved, but anyway, go get the next one. So, guys, it looks like we've got a good bite here. She's going, uh, dropped out a tuna piece. No, no, about 350 meters out, and so yeah, we are on. So, let's see, guys. Feels like a really good fish. Hopefully you can get this one out. Go check you guys in a bit. Right guys, we're slowly getting line on this fish. We're slowly moving forward. Let's see if we can get her out. Feels like a really good fish. A lot of pressure on her. 65 pound J braid doing its job. So yeah guys, let's hope for the best. Now as most anglers will tell you that the trans guy can really test your skills as well as your tackle and landing fish. There are so many influencing elements that can either work to your advantage, but most of the time not. What I really like about the J-Brake, it's totally underrated. 65 pounds break, as far as I know, well over 80 pounds. What a good fish. Losing all the others are almost worth it when you see a fish this size. Now, as I said before, the tackle you use really makes a difference. And having this kind of diver tackle on your side is a true advantage. We've got this incredible metal gray of 247 centimeters. We're just keeping on the rock pool piggy to revive him. Um, well, it's a more, not, not exactly a rock pool, more of a, more of a gully. Um, so yeah. We're going to revive her and get her back quickly. But so tough. Leave the dog fight, leave it like 60, doing the job, 65 pound J braid. I ended up in the rocks a couple times and the braid stood up very well, so very, very tough. And now I want the incredible fish. A beautiful grey shark and releasing these big monsters are even more rewarding than catching them. <laughs> 